The Making of the Department of Education, Division of Cebu Province Records Management Information System. The concept started with Article 3 of National Archives of the Philippines, stating that each agency shall create a Records Management Improvement Committee. DepEd Memorandum Number 140, Series of 2016, was then issued mandating the creation of RMIC in the Department of Education. The Division of Cebu Province responded by creating its own RMIC through the Division Memo Number 601 Series of 2017. Through the initiative of Dr. Rayamar A. Amtut, Schools Division Superintendent, she created the Records Management Improvement Committee appointing Dr. Esther A. Futalan, our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent as Chairman, Vice Chaired by Mr. Florin C. Zimblante, Dr. Novi O. Manguba, Dr. Mary Ann P. Flores, Mrs. Rian C. Villamante, Attorney Orville D. De La Serna, Mr. Jeremy C. Dinampo, Mr. Emmanuel F. Mendoza, Ms. Maria Teresa A. Peralta, Mr. Patricio J. Gonzaga, Mrs. Agustina A. Albizo, Engineer April Y. Custodio, Ms. Jenny C. Bacam, Mrs. Monena Sara M. Pomarejos, Mrs. Shello Marie J. Generale, Dr. Margarita A. Niera, and Mrs. Salina A. Loquiliano. In line with this, the committee shall perform the following functions. Implement a systematic records management program in all phases of records management. To identify and preserve documents which are of continuing value and promptly dispose of those which are of temporary upon the expiration of a predetermined period to determine the retention period of the agency's records and formulate the records disposition schedule subject to the approval of the agency head and the final approval of the executive director of the National Archives of the Philippines. To develop policies and techniques for repairing damaged records and take positive steps to prevent loss and unauthorized destruction of records. And finally, to establish a repository for the storage of records which are no longer needed by the agency but which are not yet ready for disposal or a program to transfer the records to the Records Management and Archives Office. The creation of RMIS is to provide faster service and ease of transaction. The RMIS addresses the following concerns. Transactions take a long time to process. Documents may be lost or misplaced. Every transaction needs personal appearance. Archiving files can be a clutter. And storing files is better when digitalized. can give our stakeholders an efficient and effective service. 
the RMIC held several conferences for planning of the systems. First, on November 23, 2017, and on February 12, 2018, all held in the office of the Assistant Schools Division Superintendent. Then it was followed on March 12, 2018, with Mr. Joel Onko introducing his YAEL system. It was reinforced with a five-day training workshop with Mr. Joel Onko borrowing his system as a platform for the division's own electronic personal data management system. The benchmarking at Kamigin Division was done to ensure a perfect pattern of the program, a level 4 ARIS system. From there, brainstorming and workshop were initiated for the creation of the systems. Ideas were solicited on how to go about and what to include in the systems. The RMIS subsystems are the following Electronic Personal Data Management System Service Credits, Leave Credits, and COC System Service Records, Generation System Division of Cebu Province E-Recruitment System Division Information System The Electronic Personal Data Management System provides computerized view of our name, position, station, employee number, and item number. For service credits, leave credits, and COC system, it provides computerized view of remaining credits that we can use for sickness, vacation, special occasion, or other emergency. And with the help of this system, there will be no more index cards and manual computation. There will also be a computerized view of personal plantilla. and will able to know when your next step increment quickly. The generation of service records is now significantly faster. It only takes less than 5 minutes from request until printing. The Division E-Recruitment System lets our personnel and other stakeholders apply online with the following steps. Step number one, the applicant needs to register and log in to the system. Step number two, he needs to verify and authenticate through an activation link and confirm it in his email.
Step number three, the applicant may now apply for the vacant position listed in the system. Step number four, he then inputs his qualifications according to the required qualification standards posted by the system. Then he is given a validation result summary of his application that he passed all the qualifications for the applied position. He then saves his application to enable viewing of a printable confirmation. Then last step, a PDF file will be downloaded. He will bring this sheet along with other pertinent documents needed to be submitted to the division to complete his application. The Division Information System housed all the secured information of the Division from its different offices down to its personnel and their respective functions and jurisdictions. And with the different school heads and administrators, beta testing of the system was conducted. After the testing, a system feedbacking happened and the following feedbacks were given. So the applicants, they will not have, uh, they will not find uh, time, they will not waste time na uh, mo apply kay kapaw naman sila nga, they will not qualify. I find the system very friendly, user friendly. It only takes me one minute and two seconds to finish the application. This is a very user friendly and not just friendly, efficient on the part of the applicant. It took for me less than three minutes up to submission. Kurag makakreate na sila o kung nga mugo mo padayon yun sila o apply kay wala may laing tao nga nakakita nila. In case of bill sila mo qualify at least sila rin na kaibalo. Kanindot po niya, basa lang na kay internet niya, dili ra ka ng aside sa laptop, pwede mo gamito ng cellphone or any gadget man as long as na internet. The programmer spent most of the time, even overnight, polishing the program. An hour spent coding creates a kilometer of codes just to ensure the efficiency of the system and quality service to all our stakeholders. Data Privacy Policy Assessment Workshop was conducted to ensure the security of all DepEd personal data. For the Cebu Community Multipurpose Cooperative, a secretary for the Philippine Hospital Association, Cebu Chapter, and Region 7 as well. Go to your house, knock your door, go to your house and get everything that they want. Alright? If we are not uh, respecting our privacy. Then it was followed by the Privacy Impact Assessment. The session included answering questions regarding the system from its creation, utilization, and protection of data and make it ready for registration. Then the final testing was conducted to polish the system. The systems were scrutinized and thoroughly tested until the beta testers, the programmers, and the administrators were satisfied and confident of its functions and processes.
Finally, it is now ready for the system launching and implementation. It is the ambition and aspiration of our division to provide our teachers, personnel and stakeholders with increased efficiency and effectiveness in our service and give total customer satisfaction. Every day, we are moving toward that future, taking relevant steps, ever enthusiastic, and persevering in realizing our goals. God-fearing, compassionate, and ICT-driven, with everyone in debt, we can achieve great things together. Satu papu itu datang mengaplai online. So, bapa promote ke prinsipal sir? Wan yang problem mah? Wan yang asun? Pitu mungsa, hindu tidak yang sistem ngah great step ed kay. Mahibawan sedah tu pun kena sedah macam step two, step three. Ububan pang mga bikin hal mana tu sahun terbaru. Sahun aku experience as service record. Dugai dugai kita sama rilis mau perang perun. Tahu dana ngah sistem. Dari rezut kono kayu. Ya, tanah. Betul mungkin aku mula orang tak? Betul. Betul mungkin. 